Baby girl, yes, I told you, you better run, run, because I will find you, and when I do it, you'll get very dangerous. Okay, chat, so today, guys, I'm coming with a video, another type of video, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually be good in PvP, because there are a lot of people who are struggling in this PvP, and guys, I might not talk a lot um, during it, but um, yeah, because I need to focus, uh, but I'll just give you small tips whilst on planes let's change this video is good so guys first the thing the thing the thing the thing i want to um point point out first is don't always stick with the same play place like that every 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 time because if you stick with the same place every time you won't you won't you won't win your games you have to always be able to switch your place up. now guys this is how you would actually beat hakada and spammers because how could the users? I know many of you guys might think that they're OP, but they're really not when you actually like know how to fight them, and like when you know how to parry. Because the how could the move sets when they get you in the air, like you could see like like their hand movement slightly. You can kind of like guess when they're gonna punch you, and then you can parry. And yeah, I've been able to do that, and I've actually been able to pretty much patch Hakada. And guys, this like moving around when you're playing it will like it won't allow anyone to catch you in the first place so you won't be able to get into people's combos as much so then it'll be good for you you won't lose as many as, as as much health as you think you would so guys make sure you're always going around and getting that tick damage guys running around i don't mean run away okay be more confusing that's what i mean you have to be more confusing when you play this game because the game is all about um it's all about um, punishment okay so everyone punishes each other that's why there's so many counter moves in this game so you have to be careful at the same time but guys always change your play style okay now i'm going to talk about more about change your play style when i say change your play style i mean you don't always have to play aggressive okay you can play passive as well it depends on your opponent okay you have to use your brain and think should i play passive or aggressive or neutral like a bit of both because yeah it depends it depends like it depends but yeah guys um i'm doing a voiceover right now because uh i was kind of concentrating in the game now guys when you're playing people okay you need to okay this this is very very major okay this is very major okay guys i bear in mind i'm not using like a pretty good build i'm literally using um zangetsu that's not like one of the best that's not even one of the best shikais in the game okay but guys, in this game, you have to use your brain. You have to know what skills to use. Don't just spam. Because when you spam, you waste your reactor, okay? Your reactor will go to waste. And then, guys, you'll see what will happen. But if you actually know how to um, reserve your reactor and use your skills properly to the point where you actually know what you're doing. So maybe if there's a range move you want to use, you can use it and then um, combo it into a different move. You have to be smart with what you do. Now, in my opinion, the best way to actually start your combos off is by using your critical. So, um, that's why I like Katana because the critical range is actually quite far and you can catch them off. Once you get there, maybe you might even block break them and then that's perfect and then you can start the combo. But guys, if you don't have a critical like that, don't worry. Um, you can either try and spin or you can um, use other moves that can start a combo. Maybe at any range moves if you've got Ghost Cleave that can start a combo for you. Guys, you have to be very, very smart in this game. You can't spam. Chat, another thing I want to talk about is that in this game, you really, really have to understand your build. So what I mean by that is, say, for example, you're a Hakada user. You know that Hakada users, they, they get you in close combat, like, fighting. They don't use many long-range moves. There are some moves that can teleport, like, maybe mid-range, but there's not very much long-range moves, okay? So, as a hacker user, you have to find the weak spots in people's close combat. So, you can't just keep pressing 24-7. That's what I'm talking about. You have to change your playstyle depending on your build. So, say, for example, you're a, um, you're a Quincy that uses Kiddo, okay? Your moves are primarily long-range. So, you're going to pretty much have to just use long-range moves. So, you just kind of have to lower down your close-range attacking because you're just going into your weakness. You're literally fighting in your weak spots. So... You have to understand your build. With my build, I've got some long range moves, but I do have some sort of short um like range moves as well. Like um and that's personally I think that's the best. I think that's the best like way to actually balance your build. Um but 
guys because i have long range and short range moves i can actually use my long range moves maybe ragdoll them and then um like maybe if like like depending on what build they are if they're like a quincy kiddo they're not really good at long range they're not really good at short range i mean so if they're not good at short range i'll try and um catch them off guard and then hit them with short range combos and they can't really do much about it because they can't really attack guys i just want to tell you okay person like guys ev everyone should understand this you shouldn't complain in this game okay because there's different builds so like people got going to play differently so there's gonna be people who use long range moves and they're not really getting in close combat you can't complain chat but you always have to find their weakness and exploit their weakness chat that's all in the game so if all you guys just stop complaining period just stop complaining and play to their weakness chat you can't have a like a set play style that's what i'm talking about you have to change all the time guys every opponent you see you have to understand how they play and how you should play to exploit their weakness and it doesn't matter what they say maybe if you have to like run a bit more it doesn't matter ignore them like how could users you have to kind of run a bit more you have to be moving a lot so that they don't catch you off guard if they complain ignore them chat but guys that's all i want to give you guys i want to give you guys the tips i want to help you get in better with this comment so guys if you like the series please drop a like and also subscribe and drop in the comments if you guys want some more um, of this series and guys i'll drop some cheat codes for you so you guys can get many 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 more wins and maybe hopefully you might even get on the leaderboard but yeah guys that's it for the video peace